Hello YouTube, and if you saw last video, you will see that I said I was going to do a teardown of this card and basically clean it up because it's quite very dusty. So this is that video. So what I have is the graphics card, a couple of paintbrushes that I use for like cleaning and dusting stuff, and a screwdriver set. I won't need all of them, I'll just need, um... And from what I can see, there's only those two screws, one there and one there, and then there's another one there. That's all I can see to take it apart. So I will need the smallest screwdriver. Oh yes, I did examine this after, and as you can see those two camera, camera, there we go, and as you can see those two capacitors are like flat on top, but then we come over to this one, and as you can see, it's bulging. So I'm going to say that capacitor has blown, which is... Which is, well, uh, it might not work, but hey, never mind. I wasn't even intending on using it, because I've got a much better graphics card. I think this screwdriver will fit. Oh, yes it will, but I'm going to try my smaller one. Right, so now I'm just unscrewing this screw. Oh, there's a little washer thing. Just put that little little washer back on the screw. <laughs> Which is expected, and now put that screw there beside that one. And now I need to. Oh! Now I need to unplug the thingy. If I break it, oh well, never mind. There we go. Look at that dust there. It just. If you're allergic to dust, it's a good job you're not doing this. And look! At that thermal paste, that has just... Oh, where's my flat screwdriver? I can't get it out, there we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that, that's just gone hard and solid and... Yeah, see, it's just gone all hard and flaky. Then we have, look at that. Hmm, I'm guessing this is the same. If you have a graphics card that's decent and works, never use a screwdriver to scrape this thermal paste off here, okay? Good. Yeah, that is just... Ooh. Come on camera, focus. Like, that is just, you can see it's just gone all hard and flaky. Hmm. Yeah, right. So now I need to dust off this graphics card. I would do it here, but I, oh. I don't want this to go everywhere. So I, I have a window over there. I'm going to dust it out of the window. And I'm back from dusting, and look at how clean this PCB is now. Now all I need to do is this bit, which I've just noticed is screwed together even more. So, let me just unscrew that bit once I put this screwdriver away, which I'm not using. There's a screw there, another one there, and then there's two more up here. And there's some behind the fan. Like, there. Oh, where's my screwdriver? There. But those are just to hold the fan onto the piece of aluminium. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Hmm. Yeah, so here are the heat fins. The main bit of dust is where the fan is, which is there. 
and we just have this cover which is somewhat dusty but not the worst so like I did before I'm going to brush it out of the window because well, I don't want bits of dust just clumping up on this wooden box so I'll be back again there we go I've got the main of that dust off but now the fan yes as you can see all that dust under the fan so I now need to take the fan off I dropped the screwdriver there we go right so the the three the three fan screws are there these are the casing fans they're the graphics card fans there is the fan and now because as you can still see there's still bits of dirt in there I can just simply go and wash this now as this is a piece of aluminium along with these little brass standoffs but brass and aluminium it corrodes but it doesn't go rusty but I'll be drying it immediately after so it won't even corrode and then this fan which is camera you hate me today go on camera there we go and then we've got this fan which is well yeah dusty so I'm going to brush the fan off and go and wash this yes I did say wash with water and stuff and then I'll be back part one was the uh, the fan as that was the easiest to do straight away so here is the fan that I have just cleaned it's now nice and clean and now I'm going to go and wash this Ow, 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 it's hot. Why is it hot? Because I've just washed it, and as you probably just heard, I've just uh, dried it with the hair dryer, which means it's, like, hot. So, uh, yeah, there's the heat sink, nice and clean and warm. Here is the newly cleaned fan, which I really like. I guess I can just clean the cable for the sake of cleaning the cable. Here is the fan housing, uh, heat sink and fan housing. So that just goes on like that. Uh, which is, yeah. And then this just goes on, oh, sorry. Now that then just goes on there like that. I won't be putting any more new thermal paste on there. I do have some, but I won't be putting any on because, well, I don't intend on using this graphics card, so there's no point wasting thermal paste on it. And as I showed you before, come on camera, focus, thank you. And as I showed you before, that capacitor is bulging, which it might not have fully popped yet, but it's on its way to popping, whereas these ones, as you can see, are perfectly flat. And I don't have a new capacitor or even a soldering iron to remove the capacitor. So I guess we can begin the restoration process. Well, the reassembly process anyway. There's the fan now reinstalled to the main of the heatsink. Well, this is a heatsink. To the heatsink, whereas this is just the heatsink's housing. So now I'm going to put the heatsink's housing back on. Does the fan... Does the fan go through that little... I think the fan cable goes through that little gap there. Like, um... Like that. Anyway, here is the heatsink assembled. Like, completely. Now I just need to put it back on the graphics card. 
But first, I think I might scrape off some of this thermal compound. Yes, I said scrape with a screwdriver. Once again, if you have a decent graphics card, or at least a working graphics card anyway, never ever use a screwdriver like this on it. Use some rubbing alcohol or something like that. Or moonshine, that works just as well. Right, so now I'm ready to put the heatsink back on. So we need to make sure we line up these brass standoffs with these two holes. That one and that one. And you do that just by aligning it like that. There we go, you can see the brass standoff is poking through that hole, that hole there, and now making sure you have the little plastic spacer thing on going over the hole roughly and then you put the screw through that little plastic thing and then just screw it down. It's moved, there we go. And then just screw it down until it stops turning. Don't force it, just screw it down until it stops turning like that. One thing you should never do is never force screws when using uh, when you are screwing into electronics such as a graphics card or a motherboard or whatever you are taking apart or putting together. I apologize that was completely out of frame. It was still in frame, it was just off to one side. So it turns out I never needed to take that screw off because there was no reason for me to take this IO shield off. The final touch Plugging this screw, screw, uh, fan power supply back into its little housing like that. And then here you have yourself a nicely cleaned up, nice and clean uh, Radeon X1600 Pro. Which I did a bit of research on. Oh, there's a bit of thermal compound there. Uh, I did some research on, this isn't a rendering or 3D card like I thought it could have been in my other, oh sorry, I know the camera, like I thought it could have been in my previous video, it is in fact a gaming card. However, one thing I didn't check is the specs of it, so I don't know how many gigs of RAM it's got. Hang on, it should say here. There we go. So it's got 256 megabytes of GDDR2 RAM. And like everything, I can't fit it in, so I'll have to fit it in upside down. Camera, it's made in China. Of course, reading upside down going from right to left. And then there's a serial number which you can have if you want. I'm not really bothered because this card is, uh, well, very old and stuff like that so just put my screwdrivers away what's that on nothing it just doesn't sit level anyway that one goes in there that one goes in there paint brushes where's that tag gone see on on this screwdriver set there's like a little yellow catch that clips around there it always falls off and goes missing where's it gone oh there it is that's what i'm on about that thing it just clips on and it's supposed to like stay on oh it's supposed to stay on on one side and just pivot but it keeps falling off but yeah I found it did I say orange I meant yellow but anyway there is the tear down cleanup and restoration of well restoration except the thermal compound and new capacitor of the ATI now known as AMD Radeon X1600 Pro card now looks nice and clean, the fan is nice and clean, the heat sink is nice and clean uh, the PCB as you saw down there was filthy that's now nice and clean it's all nice and clean clean that's going to be today's word of choice is clean so thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video There we go. 
There we go, I've got the main of that dust off, but now the fan. So it's got 260, 256 megabytes of GDDR2 RAM.